for hundreds and possibly thousands of years. This hardwood forest of big tooth sugar maple and gamble oak have been growing on this site. And every year, they'll drop a deep layer of leaves on the ground, which provide a protective mulch of calories that nature will decompose and put back into the soil as a way of building the soils. And it's an interesting lesson if you're into gardening or landscaping because we're often told in the Southwest that one of the big problems that we have to successfully landscape or garden in our desert soils is that we need to somehow change the chemistry of the soil from its natural alkaline nature to a more acidic condition. There are many uh, garden centers and nurseries that will sell soil acidifiers to accomplish that objective. But on this site here in the uh, Manzano Mountains in central New Mexico, these soils were derived from a limestone formation and these are naturally uh, very alkaline soils. They have a pH of about 8.2. And uh, even with many, many centuries of uh, leaves that have been decomposing on this site, I can still dig down in the soil and find and measure the pH that the pH is still very alkaline. So no matter how much organic matter has been placed here to decompose, it hasn't changed the pH of these soils. It's also good to understand that uh, what's really happening when you're adding organic matter or adding compost or soil builders to, uh, to any soil, that what you're really doing is slowly and in very tiny amounts allowing nature to turn that organic matter into a very important an essential biochemical called humus. Now be clear that humus is not organic matter in the true sense. It does not really have a calorie value like compost has. If you, if you, uh, if you wanted to, you could burn compost because it, it has a, an innate calorie value. But humus doesn't have that. Humus is actually a definable molecule that uh, does something very essential to the soil. It makes the soil a very productive and a very healthy ecosystem so that plants can be healthy. We can get down on our hands and knees here and dig through the leaves and down into the soil and find that the topsoil is actually very, very thin, even though this has been going on for a long, long time. Uh, these sugar maples here, this big tooth sugar maple, some of these are 80 feet tall and uh, have been regenerating on this site for a long, long time. And despite that length of time and many, many years of mulching going on, sheet composting we call this, the topsoil is still very, very thin with just a tiny amount of humus. Well, that's exciting because in our industry, we can actually add a tiny amount of humus and make a dramatic difference in the health and in the sustainability of a life of, a, uh, of an ecosystem such as uh, uh, a landscape in someone's yard, a farm, and so forth. And so I like to look at this as an example of the potential of what we can do for uh, sustainability when it comes to landscaping.